Stephen Ken again. We're here at West Edge. It's a desert themed booth, so I decided to ride my dirt bike in today. I'm gonna show you around, check it out. All right, so one of the most kind of interesting parts about this desert themed booth is the flooring. It's the painted canvas with the dirt that we sprinkled on while the paint was still wet. It really just came together. It makes it feel like a desert floor. Really happy with how this turned out. Let's keep going. All right, so in the booth today, we're showing pieces from our outdoor collection. So this is our lounge chair. It's a steel welded frame that we zinc prime and powder coat. And then we use our proprietary stretch webbing. Now, when people see this, they think it's most likely rigid, but it's got a lot of flex to it. So you can really get comfortable without needing cushions. I also really love the shadow that it casts. Um, and just the crisscross weave gives this high and low. I'm really into texture. I'm really into monochromatic things. Um, this kind of fits perfectly in that. Kind of moving along, we have our little side table here. Um, and on top of it, we have pieces from Marley Garden. So Marley did an incredible job sourcing really interesting plants for the booth. I love it. All right, so here in the corner, we have the Mobar 550. Love this bar cart so much. If you stick around a little bit longer in the video, I'm gonna show you what I did to this bar cart. Customized it, added my spin on it, but amazing functionality. You have a bunch of storage under here, under here as well. And you have the refrigeration, that's key. The refrigeration's key. Also the ice basin for making drinks. It's easy, it's got everything that you need. It's got these cutting boards. Um, it's a great piece. All right, so now we're entering into the heart of the booth, the kitchen. This is where everyone wants to hang out. We've got this amazing cabinets down here with magnetic closure by Urban Bonfire. My people, made up in Canada, Quebec. This top is from Decton by Cosentino. And right next to it is the Twin Eagles Tapanyaki. You can do so much with this, very versatile. And the C-Series Gas Grill by Twin Eagles. And over here is the Beverage Center by Dometic, under counter refrigeration, and the island, which we have our bar stools sitting across. Great for hosting, lunch, breakfast, anything you wanna do. It's amazing to kind of like work around this. As we kind of continue on this way, we got Marley Garden. Now you have to remember we're in a parking lot and it doesn't feel like a parking lot. It feels like this desert floor, kind of like Joshua Tree vibe. And then we got a lounge over here. This is our new five point chair. Reason it's called the five point chair is if you click up, it lays all the way flat. So you can lay back, relax, and then if you want to click it up into place, it's got five different positions. It's our new piece to the collection. I love this thing, it's so low to the ground. It's, uh, it's easy. So one more thing I'll say about the five point chair, this is some umbrella fabric. This is Cordura down below, powder coated exterior. This thing is rugged, it can hold up in any condition. It was raining on the first day and this is doing great. Basically we make everything to order, so highly customizable, pick out any material that works for you. But I wanna show you a little bit more. We got our grounded triple top table, um, which has kind of got a stone base, really kind of natural materials. Sitting on top of that are the Marley pieces. So the Marley system is really genius. Um, you pour water down into this uh, valley right here. It's got a self-leveling uh, float to tell you when it needs more water. So you don't kill your plants. If you're like me, you love plants. I've kind of got a bit of a green thumb. Some people don't. And uh, this is a real help to any sort of plant uh, in your home, outdoor area, anything like that. All right, here's another colorway of the five point chair. I'm always attracted to vintage military, olive drabs. Um, it's got vintage duffel bag handles on the back here. Just a very rugged piece. Um, right above here, this is a brilliant shade structure from a company called Umbrosa. You should really be calling these guys over because the way that this thing can collapse and then come out is amazing. Give me one second. Would you yeah, do sure. a little demo for us? Yeah. Show, show us how simple it is Very to simple. change this. To open it, you just 
this. Grab the fabric. Yep. Walk it around. I'm sold. I'm sold. I want one of these. And then uh, you just do this. Hook it in. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Love cantilevers. Makes amazing shade structure. You can see how fast it is to put up, put down. And like he was saying, the wind, um, it doesn't break or anything like that. So under this directly is our perforated coffee table. One of the things I love about this is it, it gives it like an airiness feel. So being able to see through to the floor makes it not feel so heavy, makes it not feel so kind of enclosed. And it casts a really beautiful shadow towards the end of the day. All right, this is our three seat sofa. Um, we make a love seat version, a two seat version, armchair. Basically this whole system is very modular. It's designed to create sectionals. But right here is the three seat sofa and underneath here is the elastic so it's nice and cushy. You're not sitting against anything hard like a substrate. All right, so right here is our little side table, powder coated frame, sucapira wood, which is a Brazilian hardwood. Looks like walnut, but it performs outdoors perfectly. The idea with this is that you can kind of sit, pull it under if you need to be outside working on a laptop, having lunch. And this is the Mobar 550 Stephen Cannon Edition. It's an oak top. We took all the panels off the exterior, powder coated them added leather along the handles here. The best thing about this is you get to stand behind, make drinks for your friends. I'll be doing that a little bit later. So I hope you like the walk through the booth. Hope it gave you some information about what we're making, what we're showing, how we've partnered together. We're gonna to be doing other shows in the future and can't wait to see you there.